All these greens here. What is that? Every single screen. That's gotta be deliberate. That's not even like regular TV. See, that's regular. How about we take the wheels, V? That van could give us a slip any second. Good idea. That's actually a pretty good idea. Let's get a fast car then. My, my! <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Well, if they've been looking at him this closely, like, there's nobody here right now, but didn't they say that there should at least be one person watching during the maintenance windows? How do they all just leave him? If they're still watching, they'll know that I know. Uh, this way? I can't go in there, can I? Wait. Just civilians? Veteran guard. Veteran guard. Good idea, Johnny. Wait, are we, like, stalking the van? Do they know we're here? Do I have to, like, lag behind again? This song! Don't lose him, V. Oh, now you're interested. We could expose a corpo conspiracy here, V. I'm telling you. They could be corpo spies or who the fuck knows what. Hmm, <laughs> I might have actually picked the car that's a little bit too slow. The van's pretty fast. Now Johnny's interested. Oh shoot! Gonna lose him if you don't pick up the pace. Yeah, 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 yeah. This song is distracting me. Come on. Did they see that we were coming, or are they just leaving? They're so fast, so I think they probably saw. Especially because they probably know that I know about them. But I can't imagine why... Holt's people? But up until now, they haven't really tried discrediting him or ruining his reputation, right? Politicians and see a curated display, but behind the scenes it's all out war. Citizens don't choose their representatives. Then who? The key players, the string pullers. They spy on all the paralysis, look for weak spots, blackmail, rig elections. Shit. They're taking us into Northside. It's cannon well, Johnny. Dude! What the hell was that? Oh, that's stupid. What the hell was that guy even doing? What? North side is the industrial district. They're trying to hide stuff here. There are people. No, I want pinging the people. Like, why is that? Yep. Maelstrom. 
Maelstrom? What? Whatever. I mean, do we even have to hide? Got a sniper, but maybe the crush crash right here. Don't I have a silencer on this? I guess not. No, I do. I do. Now where you hide? There's one more. Oh, that's the... There's a person somewhere. I see you on the map. It's just a matter of time, motherfucker! We good? Come on, show yourself. What on earth, Maelstrom? That's random. Ah! Uh... Oh, it didn't connect. Sometimes it connects, sometimes it doesn't. I think I screwed up already. Well, I got one. Nothing. I don't even need to get a headshot in. Don't be getting soft on me now. But the things the people driving the vans were guards, they weren't maelstromers. Should probably look into the cameras. Where even are you? I'll look at the van after we look around the area. Oh. Okay. Don't- no, we can't do this one. 7A, E9, E9 here? 55- okay, got it. 7A, E9, 55, E9. And then, like, nothing else. This is it. The end of the line, probably. Nope. Where are the rest of the people? I know there's still a few people around here. Yeah, come out already. This is computer. It won't really give me the prompts. Hold on. The chair is in the way. <laughs> ah! What am I doing? I'm like squatting on the chair. <laughs> mm. BD 55 7A. E9 FF. Okay. Pretty sure there's still people around here. Petition, Night City, and Noosa. Oh, okay, so back at home, I'm pretty sure we have like... These ones are the same, but the last one, the Bart Moss one, is different, right? They changed it because we got the text earlier, I guess? Weren't there people around here? You're gonna get a nasty makeover! 
here somewhere. We need to start picking up all the bullets too because I need more ammo. No, the pinging didn't do anything. That's rude. Don't rip off my fingernails. Oh! Into the line for you! We're fine. But this place is bigger than I thought it was, though. And these are all maelstromers. Somebody big hired maelstromers so they don't have to dirty their own hands. Seems pretty likely to me. Hostile area. No, I'm pretty sure we got everyone. Liberum Arbitrium Review. Pretentious banality dunked in a sloppy symphonic sauce. Chromatic rock pretender at worst. Caricature at best. Okay, sure, heavy riffs, check, unique vocal growl, check, essence of the 60s, check, but all of it gets drowned out in a flood of cliché dark tones that's too much for even neo-kitsch gen fans to swallow. No punch, no curb stuff of edge. Honestly, by the standards of the genre, it's a fucking lullaby. It's a review for a song, but who by who, from Tainted Overlord. Actually, I'm pretty sure we've read this one before. Not the time for it. So I mean, at this moment right now, I still have no idea what's going on with the paralysis. It sounds like somebody has been... remotely controlling them somehow. Oh man, we're just missing one! That's awful, jeez. Whatever. But who could have done it? Their enemies, I guess? They do have a lot of enemies. But like, which one? The political ones? I feel like it's gotta be the friend that recommended the security company to them. An acquaintance, whoever that is. Maybe that person's been bought out too. Oh. Pierced it, we're in. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. Pictures, medical records. Vulnerability to neuroplasticity. It's some kind Disorientation. of Disorientation. Brain scans. The paralysis biological casts. Neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. Fresh neural links. They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. Mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politicians' minds? Uh huh. Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. Oh my god. This is big shit, Johnny. Fuck me. Got other guinea pigs besides the paralysis, too. Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it, that's your suspect. Shit! They're wiping the data. We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who. Are they coming? If you want to play, I'll gladly oblige. Don't stick your hand inside. <laughs> oh, yeah, like during that little pop-up just now, we saw stuff about memory loss being severe, neuroplasticity, and... Just you. What do you want? Not good. This is not good. V, do you have any news? Gonna wanna sit down for this. It's... It's way bigger than we thought. What is? You're being brainwashed. Literally. They've scanned your minds and now using some kind of conditioning to... Wait, not on the hollow. Right, I'll come by. No. You and I... We need to speak alone. I know a little ramen place in Japan town. Sending you the coordinates. Right. See you there. Are you still thinking about the campaign, Elizabeth? 
I'm just gonna turn this off for a second so we can get some peace of mind. Man, like... Oh. She's still trying to, like, determine what information to give to her husband. But he's a grown man. He's an adult. He can make decisions for himself, too. You're not giving him enough information to do anything with. I don't know, man. We'll have to see. How does she feel about this, though? Because she... She's a victim, too. It's not just her husband. And more importantly, like, we still don't know who's doing this. We know that this is happening. And we know the security company is involved, but that's pretty much all we know. Well, if we talk to Elizabeth about it, and then she probably knows which acquaintance they got this recommendation from for the security company, and then they can probably start there, but at this point, maybe we're gonna get hunted down too, because we're involved now. I don't know, man. Everything is really going down here. But I didn't get the impression it was just spying, even from the TV, because remember how when we touched it in Paralysis' home? Johnny said something about how it felt good, which is, you know, that didn't seem like just spying. Jeez. Oh, God. It sounds like it should be... I mean, they're targeting huge-time politicians, though, so it also sounds like somebody big is behind this. Militech, Arasaka, that sort of type. Not just your everyday average random hacker. I don't know, man. There's a lot going on here. We just gotta talk to Elizabeth and see what happens. Oh. Ramen shop in Japantown. Right down here. She doesn't even want to talk about this in her own home. Which makes sense, because, you know, her home has been compromised. Guaranteed. Hey. I am so sorry. But for a big-time politician to be here, though... Hope well, people don't recognize you. Oh, it's this shop. Johnny, uh, we came here for Johnny's thing before, right? It used to be, like, something else? Will you sit? Wow. Please? You look like Cynthia, Pepe's wife. Thank you for coming. Well, I mean, obviously, we're here because we don't trust the apartment. Why are we meeting here and not at your pad? Because I have something to confess. In private. Not in front of Jeff. Oh! Okay. Confess away. I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. She is involved. Wasn't that long ago we last met. Something happened since then? No. I mean, something did happen, though not recently. It's a long story. I don't quite know how to tell you. Where to even start? She might be working with that acquaintance of theirs that recommended the security company. Okay, so I understand that the goal, the ultimate goal... And any for your thoughts? ...is control. To control people, control their minds. But like, for what reason, though? Because right now he's like this up-and-coming politician, mayoral candidate. You want to be able to control the mayor? Is that what's happening? But it's your husband! It's your husband! Relax. D? No need to rush. Are you still with me? <sighs> uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me. Becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading. Forgot the title of his favorite movie? Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once, I said we should visit his brother's grave. And he told me... 
told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something insidious. And not just with Jeff. Are you in on this or not? It did say severe memory loss. And any for your thoughts? Notice any changes in yourself? After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. Oh, that must have been hard. It was. You know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. Suddenly reminded of how Johnny was talking about the worst part of being at Mikoshi is how they change you into someone else and you lose your identity. My game just crashed. We're back. So the whole time you knew what I could end up finding. I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. It is terrifying. It's not the fact that there is a spy room in your apartment, it's the fact that you forgot. That's the worst part. And any for your thoughts? Mentioned any of this to Jeff? I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed, said I was imagining things. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on, swear to God. He went on about it in such detail, I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Maybe they just wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. Don't you get that? That's messed up. Haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. But security is a problem here. Find it strange you took this to security instead of your husband. I thought I was going insane. I wanted to see what was on the feeds first. There was nothing there, of course, so what was I supposed to tell Jeff? And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. They threaten you? Try to blackmail you? They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, Jeff could have an accident. Then they wiped any record of our conversation. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it. No! No, listen to what you're saying. You're you're getting threatened by these people. You can't live like this. You knew who sent the intruder, but Are just you still with strung me? me along anyway, Liz. I didn't have a choice. I didn't know what to do. Wanted everything to just go on and flow on, because it was convenient. Convenient? I got the perfect life. Prominent husband. You don't lack for a thing. You think I'm having fun? You have no idea what it's like, living like this. But the fact that she's finding out about it means that the memory wipe whatever business is not perfect then. And even Jefferson remembering that he shot someone that night. That means something is going wrong with her mind control. And any for your thoughts? What if you're just saying what they programmed you to say? Just reading off a script based on thoughts planted in your head. Oh my god. All I know is, I love my husband. And I want him to be safe and... and happy. Or that's what they want you to know. You know what Jeff will do if you tell him? I know my husband. He'll start looking on his own. He can't find out about this. It... it'd destroy him. 
What do you mean it'll destroy him? You want him to live his lie? He's already looking. He asked me to help. You guys both asked me to help. But damn it, Elizabeth, you gonna ignore this? Somebody poking around in your heads. What choice do I have? To get myself killed? Or see my husband dragged away from me? Asking me to lie to my employer? I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. No! No, Elizabeth, I understand where you're coming from, but this is not... You can't live like this! Don't even think about your husband right now! You... Ah! Are you still with me? And if I'm not on board? You have a choice. Just remember, any consequences will not be yours to deal with. That's true. It's very easy for me to say, let's tell him the truth, but I don't have to bear the consequences of any of these. Threats on my life? It's not on me, it's on them. And any for your thoughts? She's in such a hurry, she's always hurrying me. Truly prepared to fire SSI? After the threats? Need to be brave, but risky as I'll get out. What they're doing to us is one thing, but when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Mm -hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. Oh. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? Yeah. But hey, at least we know what we're up against. We don't. We don't because we don't know who's behind this. No. Now this is different. Saw yourself. They're purposely modifying their minds' individual thoughts. Mm-hmm. Paralysis make a damn nice next-gen puppet. Even in my day, there were whispers about this kind of stuff. Cognitive pattern fluctuators, remote neural re-networking. In layman's terms, gaslighting. The beauty is that everything's fair game. Subliminal TV signals, high-density emitters in your electric toothbrush. You name it. The corpse have taken over the world, and they're coming after us next. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's gotta take them down. Even by risking the Paralysis' lives? Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V. If you're asking me, like, is it a tough choice to maybe put the paralysis in danger? I would feel like it's not that tough for me because I don't have any personal relation to these people. And I've seen so many people die, I don't think it really matters to me. But I do feel for them, like, that is... That's worse than mine and Johnny's situation. Because at least we know what's happening here. It's Soul Killer, written by Alt. And Arasaka's behind this, but like... We don't even know the mastermind behind this. It's gotta be someone up there. They want to control the future mayor. I don't think it's Holt. Like, Holt is too low on the, the corporate ladder, you know? Are you serious? I can't have this? This is so nice. Playboy. <laughs> <laughs> the mocks? Why can't I have your cars? Oh, do you mind if I have this one? Thank you. Like, I don't even... Hello. Sorry, my mind, next time. Next time. We'll just drive over to Jefferson then. Okay, so what, what's the basic gist of what we're trying to deal with here? 
if we tell Jefferson, he's gonna go looking. And if he goes looking, Elizabeth is afraid that he'll die. So what she's doing right now is out of concern for her husband's safety, but she said she wants him to be safe and happy. Is a fake kind of happiness... Happiness? I don't know. I don't know, man. It's like if someone came up to you and asked, Hey, I know there's a big secret about you right now that you don't know about. But if I tell you about it, you'll know the truth, but you'll probably end up being unhappy. Would you rather know the truth or not? I don't even think I can say that- Oh, most people would probably choose this choice. Cause that's... Ugh. But if we never tell him though, he'll just continue on like this. If we tell him, there's a possibility that they can get this reversed. They can figure out who's doing this and... You know, well, I mean, it might be kind of wishful thinking because I feel like the worst case scenario is that probably both of the paralysis will die. Mm. Did Holt play a role in the late mayor's demise? Oh my god, they're talking about the mayor right here. Oh, I, I wasn't paying attention to the radio, but man, they were just talking about how Holt... Back with you so soon? Wait, do you really want to talk about it or not? Is it a mirage? A hologram? No, my friends. No. It's clear, open skies. But don't okay. take it from me. Ah. <sighs> This is a buyable car. My car now. Huh? It's not going well, though. What the hell? Yeah. It doesn't matter what you tell him. It doesn't matter what you think of doing or do. You can't change anything. What? We know who you are. We know what you are. We know what you want. You are playing with fire. Don't dare cross the line. Fuck. Holy crap. This is like some Illuminati business. What the hell? V can have various different backgrounds, you know, st street kid, nomad, corpo. But I feel like there's no universe in which there's a V that would back down from this kind of challenge though. Like seriously, okay, I was hesitating up until now. But if you're gonna issue a challenge to me like that, then I can't, I can't back down. We've gotta tell him! The mind control is not perfect. It's starting to crack, because he was shooting the agent. Elizabeth knows, but she's only pretending to not know. Hello, V. Man, you look like shit. Did you even sleep? God, those bags under your eyes. Need to talk. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Elizabeth, what did she tell you? Exactly. Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Guess you got more though. SSI wasn't working for Holt. You're in deeper shit than you think. Meaning? All or nothing. Don't talk in riddles. They're in your heads, Jefferson. Yours and Elizabeth's. This some kind of chuckle-worthy metaphor? Strange dreams, partial recall, jumbled memories. It's not just stress and long hours. I don't know what you're trying to tell me, but I don't think I like where this is heading. Wake up. Your brain's a mess. Messier than the discount section of a beady smut hut. I'm not paying you to make up riddles for me, so get to the point. Exactly. SSI's on the take of some unknown group that's out to control your lives. Wait, 
Suddenly, I remembered how in the emails, Elizabeth was telling her daughter not to come back. And now we know why. Know there's a concealed room in your pad? Out with it. They've got tech in there you wouldn't believe. These people know everything about you and your wife. Watching your every move. Ah, <sighs> uh, it's both, but probably this one is the more dangerous implication here. Somebody's programming you and your wife. Sounds like something out of the movies. Saw your brain scans. They're tweaking your neural connections. This ain't no movie, Jeff. Been at it for a while with you and Liz. Editing your memories, your tastes, your views and beliefs, even. Oh my god. How could I not have known about this? Your memories? Can't even trust those anymore. This is devastating. Smoking. They're both smoking. If that's true, I'll never know what's real in my life and what's a lie, fabricated. Wait, the intruder. I have to find him. The first one is too defeatist. Got no idea how we go about doing that. First, I'll find him, then, I'll find whoever's behind this. Pull the curtain back on these motherfuckers and show them what's what. They know we're having this conversation right now. Could show their hand if you're patient. Wait long enough. Or use your mayoral powers if you get elected. Long as you don't forget all this by morning. Sun Tzu's art of war. Feign weakness so your enemy may grow arrogant. Don't see you doing much feigning, Jeff. My god. I have to tell Liz. <sighs> this might put a strain on the relationship too. I really hope it doesn't. They should be on the same side right now. But it's so difficult because you don't know if what you're thinking is right. You don't know if what she's thinking is right. Ah! Your wife knows everything. Liz? How? Figured it out at some point. Elizabeth? No, 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 no. She would have said something. She did. No, she did tell you. You were just laughing it off and you didn't... Oh, no. No, she did, though. She said she did. She feared for your life. Your daughter's life. Who could blame her? No. no she's never kept anything from me. And she doesn't scare easily. Believe me. Got an anonymous hollow telling her to keep her mouth shut. So she did what the perfect candidate's wife would do. Protected her family. I won't let them get away with this. Is there anything else I can do? You've done enough already, V. All that's left to do is wait. So what now? Still want to be mayor? Well, I'm not about to give up. I didn't run just to... I'll wait. For my window, an opportunity, then make my move. Isn't that exactly what they want? Well, I'll give them more than they bargained for. Yeah, same with the Aredis. Take care, V. Good luck. And good night. So, thoughts? Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. What? So, aliens. Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not aliens. Doesn't matter who. What matters is that guy decided to take up the gauntlet. My man. Wild AIs beyond the black wall? I guess that kind of makes sense, because the way they're able to just tap into our heads. So, ready? It is really weird. Well, Whoa, I think of all the quests we've seen and done so far, this one is the one that really leaves a lot of questions that at the moment are still 
unanswered. Maybe we'll see more later on, but holy crap. In a world where cybernetics, uh, transplants, organ transplants, arms, legs, all sorts of limbs and organs, they can all be replaced. Our identity, our soul is the only thing that we have that identifies us. And now they want to mess with it too. It's exactly like Johnny says, the corpse. Well, if it is like Johnny says, it's not the corpse, it's AIs. The AIs are taking over the world. And they want us to. Oh. I don't know how to feel about this, man. This might be a little bit too much. But I think about how, I don't know, if it was my character, if it's V, I would rather die than be controlled. I would rather die than be brainwashed than live this perfect lie. And it's not perfect too, because right now, mm, Perales is like one of the, like his, his whole campaign is about how, oh, he's poor, he grew up poor, he understands the people, so he wants to make some real change in Night City. But once he gets elected, if he's still being brainwashed, I feel like there's a pretty high possibility that he might not be following through on his campaign promises because whoever's trying to control him will have changed his ideals. So he might still be happy from like a, hey, I'm currently brainwashed kind of perspective. But in comparison to his old self, like he, his old self probably wouldn't be very happy about the changes, right? And I don't know if I could live with that kind of thing. I don't know. Wow. This has nothing to do with Holt or Lucius Ryan anymore. Jeez, what? Oh, what even was this? Oh my god. I'm freaked out. I'm freaked out, man. Weldon Holt. Lucius Ryan's successor and current mayor of Night City. He's a seasoned political player who had been eyeing the mayoral position for years, before it was abruptly handed down to him after Ryan's tragic death. Holt knows exactly which strings to pull in the city, and which ones to leave to the corpse. Like his predecessor, Weldon Holt not only signs deals with corporate execs, but doesn't mind tossing in a few favors. Generous tax breaks, anyone? Sure, gets him a lot of political flack, but he's convinced that it's just the way it's done in Night City. Man, I just don't even know. The concept of wild AIs being beyond the black wall, like, I don't even... How do you comprehend this? What does a wild AI want to do? What is its goal? 